Wave. Wave at the camera. Say, hey. Wave. Can you wave at the camera? So cute compared to how the day started. Yeah. vlog for several reasons number one I want to vlog because I want to document our life for our purposes just for us for my wife and my sweet baby boy um, I love my family and I want to be able to just have episodes so like this first episode I'll introduce you to to them later on but uh, I want to be able to show him when he's three and he can uh, or four or five six I can show him day one and I can show him where he was when he was 13 months old because that's how old he is right now so I want to do that for that reason but I also want to uh I want to share just be transparent with people um I'm an author I'm a speaker uh, I, I'm an online coach and I just want to be transparent a lot of times um people who do what I do they uh they seem they seem to be doing more than they actually are they seem to have be living bigger than they actually are and the truth of the matter is that's not the case I'm just a normal person um, with a normal life uh, except for I have a dream I have big goals big aspirations uh, big vision and I try to make choices every day that line up with that and, and I'm just on a journey uh, to and I want to share that with everybody and so um, I just I hope that this vlog this channel that you're watching right now uh, every time you log in and watch a video, that maybe it's a little entertaining, maybe it's funny because funny stuff happens all the time, whether it's with the baby, with me and my my bride. Just funny stuff always happens, and we always say, "Man, we need our own TV show because this this is hilarious that this is happening." So hopefully it's entertaining, but hopefully every time every episode you get something positive from it you walk away feeling refreshed, you walk away with some positivity. So thank you for being here, and I'll see you soon. What's going on, Instagram? Welcome back to reason number three for why time matters, right? Time doesn't care. That was reason number one the other day. Time doesn't return. It's not coming back to you. You don't get your wasted moments back. Reason number three is that time ticks. Time ticks. It's ticking right now. It is It is every second. Everybody's clock is the same. I don't think I've said this yet, but time really is the great equalizer. Some of us were blessed in ways that other people weren't. Some of us um, have skills, talents, and abilities that other people don't, and they got to work extra hard to get to that level. But time is the same for all of us. My watch is going to tick the same way yours is. Uh, if you just if you look at a watch that's going by the seconds, you just see the seconds ticking away. Tick, tick, tick. It's the great equalizer. We all have 86,400 ticks a day. Oh my gosh. I'm here with my sister. This is, what's your name? Ashley. Ashley. Warren. Ashley Warren, how old are you? 18. 18 years old. I remember when you were born. I mean, you were just a wee little bitty nugget. Yeah. Kind of like Ezra is now. Yeah, I'm an old lady. You're an old lady. Yeah. Hey, what is, uh, you are Ezra's, what? Fire ant. Fire ant. She's a fire, I told her she's a fire ant. She don't like that. No, you yeah. are. I'm not liking no fire. Yeah, she's a fire ant. Oh, God. Anyway, that's, that's Ashley's segment for the day. See you later.
going to like running. People say, why don't you come to the gym? Why don't you work out? Why don't you push yourself so hard? Well, you know, I don't think, personally, I don't think I can afford to not. Uh, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at uh, 13 years old. And uh, so I can't afford lazy. Some people, I don't know, maybe you can afford lazy. I can't afford it. Um, my health is too important. My family is too important. My, my life is too important. My wife and my kids, my wife and my son, I don't have two kids yet, even though I'm pushing my wife for it. Um, they're too important to just let lazy creep in, and it will if you let it. So um, for all you out there who, you know, you've been letting lazy in, you need to step your game up, man. Don't let lazy win. You can't afford lazy. If you want to live a long, happy, active, healthy life, you can't afford laziness. So quit making excuses and come up with some reasons why you must, reasons why you got to, okay? Awesome, well, done running, done walking. It's time to take this thing out of here. See ya. So what I was trying to say, um, in case you probably couldn't hear it in there because of the music or whatever. I don't know what the sound quality was like, but I want to repeat it anyway. I only have a few minutes before I'm leaving the gym. And again, I'm not recording while I'm driving, so here you go. Um, I don't think I can afford laziness because I was diagnosed with diabetes at the age of uh, 13. Subscribe to the channel and you'll probably hear more about that in the days to come. But um, I can't afford bad health. And, and my, my wife and my son, my family, my life in general means more to me than a little uncomfortableness in the gym, um, staying in shape and staying healthy. And so, uh, so many people make excuses for why they can't do this, but you need to start making reasons why you can, why you must, why you have to, because you can't afford not to. And so, uh, you know, people don't have discipline. I heard it said recently that, uh, if you have, if you're living in this generation and you have just this much discipline, you can you can reach greatness in your life, whatever you're chasing. And so, um, just have a little discipline and decide that you're going to do the the uncomfortable things and then just freaking do it. Okay, it's not easy. Nothing in life that's worth having is easy, but it's worth it. And so you need to get off the easy bandwagon and decide that whatever it takes, I'm gonna do. It. I'm uh, getting ready for probably my favorite time of the day. I mean, I like the morning time. I love mornings. I'm a huge morning person. But my second, really my real favorite time of the day is this time because I get to go in to see my babies. Who is that? Get my baby! I said, who is that? He said, Look! Get my baby! What are you doing? Look! What's up? Say, what's up? And, I said, who's that? He said. And there's mommy. The beautiful, the one, the only, my beautiful bride. Uh, this is vlog number one. Oh, yeah. And I told the world that I was going to introduce you. So, this is Yay. essentially your introduction you'll meet her more we'll talk more you what she she says she looks rough but she's fixing to go to the gym so she don't look rough at all and i i accidentally told the world that i was pressuring you to have another child um and she says pressure on it's not happening now i'm all, all seriousness it's not happening right now so don't worry all right guys look She's got a Our pretty neighbors. flower. Did it for us. Isn't that sweet? That is sweet. Okay. Sweet neighbors. Awesome. All right, I gotta get dressed. Mommy made us some really, really good food, didn't she? Yummies. Don't you think so? Mmm. Mm, it's good, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? What you eating now? Dessert? Cookie? Say cookie. 
Yummy cookie. Wave. Wave at the camera. Say, hey. Wave. Can you wave at the camera? So cute compared to how the day started. Yeah. So that was totally me giving him a cookie, not punching him in the face. No worries. We're all safe here in that right edge spray. Say yes, sir. I want another cookie. Cookie. I love that cookie. He is tearing up these cookies now. He loves them. He loves them. They're like a healthy vegan bite. with people. See you tomorrow.